Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Gardening Cold Spring Harbor. I'm in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. Fall 2023 is officially here. So that means it's time to pot my first fall 2023 container over here in my front yard. Here we are, guys. We're in my front yard. I have this little bench area over here that me and my husband built about two years ago. You are familiar with this location because I was exactly in the same location when I was potting up my summer containers and I shared that process and that experience with you guys. For those of you who are interested in seeing what flowers I chose and potted in my summer containers, that video is still available on my garden channel, Gardening in Cold Spring Harbor. So here I have two identical containers one here and one right over there across so these containers were filled with gorgeous summer flowers however as summer came to an end and temperatures started to drop many of the flowers that i had here all summer long have died off i do have one gorgeous stunner over here that's not only growing it's thriving guys it's absolutely stunning it's it's bushy it's large look at the beautiful purple colored flowers on it so this flower is an annual but i used it as a centerpiece flower in my summer containers i hate hate wasting plants throwing plants out so you know what guys i'm going to save this plant and i'm gonna let it stay exactly where it is and to keep thriving i'm going to use it as a centerpiece in my fall container as well those of you guys who are looking for that online gardening channel that offers tips tricks easy yet proven garden advice to take your home garden to that next level don't go anywhere guys stick around with me today start with going below this video and clicking the subscribe button and if you're enjoying the content of my gardening videos and never want to miss any new upcoming gardening videos, click the bell icon as well. YouTube will send you a notification every time I'll upload a new gardening video. So easy for you to do, yet so pleasing and rewarding to me, knowing that you guys enjoy watching my videos, that you find the content of my videos to be helpful, useful, informative. So now, come with me. Let's pot up two fall 2023 containers over here in my front yard. Every time I have to pot up a container or a hanging basket, I always take my time to think, plan, to do my research as to what flowers I want to select, purchase, and pot in my containers or hanging baskets. The first thing to always remember is that you always have to think about the location where your hanging basket will be or your container. How much sunlight is that location getting every single day? Is it a full sun location? It is a part sun location? Is it a shaded location? So the location will have a direct impact on what type of flowers you're going to select and purchase guys so this location is a full sun location meaning this location gets at least 10 hours of sunlight every single day so going back to the topic of location of your container or your hanging basket how much sunlight the plants that you're going to be potting will be getting on every single day basis so since this is a full sun location i chose plants that are full sun loving plants and another great thing about fall is that pansies are bad guys i love pansies they're a pinchback rebloom again flowers they love and thrive in cool cooler weather and they just bring that amazing pop of color to your home garden not only in the spring guys but also in the fall season as well. So I decided to choose colors that would complement the already existing plant that I have in this container. As I just mentioned, I will be keeping this plant exactly where it is because there's no need to get rid of it, guys. There's no need to pull it out. It's 
growing and it's thriving. So the pansy colors that I decided to pick out for this full container are the blue purple pansies with a yellow center as well as white pansies also with a yellow center. I think these look stunning. And then some yellows over here. So you could see I have the lighter blues, the yellow, the deeper purples, and of course the whites. So I'm going to intermix these around the perimeter of the container. And also, I decided to pick up a few decorative cabbage, green decorative cabbage to add to my container as well, to add that dimension. So we're going to have tallest centerpiece, medium height, and then we're going to have the pansies surrounding the cabbage and the center plant like so. So this is what it will look like approximately, guys. And again, as I mentioned in my summer container video, this location is right on the corner of my house, very close to the road. So I want these containers to be the show stoppers, guys. I want these containers to be noticeable from the road. When people are walking or driving, I want them to be able to turn their head and to see these containers and say, wow, 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 what beautiful containers these are. So this is what each of my containers are going to look like, approximately, guys. And again, I am going to pot two identical containers, like so before I can start planting the flowers. I will amend the soil, each of the holes, with a Sporma Organic Biotone Starter Fertilizer, guys. As you know from previous videos, I use a Sporma Organic Biotone Starter Fertilizer every single time I pot something, replant something, plant something so whether it's rose shrubs whether it's hydrangea bushes whether it's containers or hanging baskets this starter fertilizer is absolutely excellent it does a great job and it helps boost the plant's root system helps give that plant the best head start at you know life and at growing in your home garden for those of you who are not familiar with this product i will link it in the comment section Below. And again, guys, I am not in any way associated with the Spoma Organic Company. I do not get paid. I do not market them. I simply recommend this product because I use it almost on everyday basis in my home garden. And it has done wonders for me and the plants in my home garden. So I truly, sincerely recommend this product to each and every single one of you. Now, let's, let's pot up these containers, guys. Let's go. So now it's time to pot up all of these flowers in this container over here. So I'm going to dig up a hole, again, around the perimeter of this container, like so. And I'm going to start positioning my pansies. Again, guys, since I got multiple colors, I am going to mix them up. So again, first thing I'm going to do, once I dug up my hole, I am going to amend the soil with biotone starter fertilizer. There are clear instructions in the back of the packet, but I always like to eye it. I add a diligent amount, like so, and then I start positioning the pansies. I back fill the container. This is still good soil, guys. I do not need to, uh, you know, get rid of any soil as basically this is fresh soil. All I'm going to do is just amend it a little more, like I just said, with Biotone. And that should do. Every hole I dig up, I amend thoroughly with Biotone Starter Fertilizer. And of course, when I'm done with my container, I will water everything thoroughly. But that can wait. 
over here, I want to make space for my uh, decorative cabbage, ornamental cabbage. Even with the cabbage, I am meant thoroughly, guys. I want these containers to last throughout the entire fall season. Take a look at these roots. Oh my goodness. So when you see roots like this, that are all tangled up, all matted, always use your fingers to loosen up the root system. Like so. I think this is starting to come together and starting to just look excellent. I know guys, this is a messy job, potting containers, but not a big deal. The cleanup will leave for last. Right now I'm focused on um, Remember guys, the thing about pansies is once you see the flowers are spent, meaning they're dead, all you have to do is pinch back or cut off the flowers that are done blooming that are spent. And pansies will keep forming new flower buds and will keep blooming for you. 100% done it, guaranteed guys. That's the trick. Don't think you need to get rid of the flower pull it out and throw it out. No, 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 guys. Pinch back the dead flowers, new buds will form, new flowers will bloom. 100% guarantee you guys. How is it looking so far, guys? What do you think? Beautiful combination of yellows and greens and purple, guys. I think it's starting to look really really good guys here you go guys my first fall 2023 container has been potted up you could see how nice it came out here are the pansies the white the yellow the blue the purple the ornamental cabbage and the tall annual centerpiece over here. And you could see what nice dimension I was able to create. And I think the colors of the flowers complement each other absolutely beautifully. So now I'm just going to water this container and enjoy it this entire fall season. Now that this container is complete and I'm very happy with how it turned out, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to walk across to the other container and essentially put this one up as well. And I want it to look exactly identical to the container that I just finished potting up. So I'm going to get started. Again, I'm going to amend the soil with Biotone start a fertilizer and I'm going to plant my pansies and my ornamental cabbage in this container as well and once I'm done I'm going to show you what this container will end up looking like here you go guys my second fall 2023 containers has been potted up as well I try to replicate the exact copy of the first container that I just made so I intermixed the colors of the pansies. I didn't put just one color next to each other. You could see I put some blues, some purple, some white, the ornamental cabbage. What do you guys think? Why don't you let me know in the comments below how many of you guys are liking my fall containers? And please guys, let me know, have you potted up your fall containers yet this year? And if so, what flowers have you chosen? for your fall containers this year. And if you have pictures to share with me, please guys, I would love, love to see some container inspiration from you guys. So here is my first container. And right over here, right across the bench, 
is my other container. I just wanted to show you guys the two containers are absolutely identical. This is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on this gorgeous fall day in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. In today's video, we potted not one, but two fall 2023 containers together. And here they are, guys. And I think that they came out to be as beautiful as I wanted them to be. If you guys enjoyed the content of today's video, if you found this video to be useful, informative, helpful in any way, show me that support by clicking thumbs up below. Leave your comments in the comment section below as well. Let me know, have you potted up your fall containers yet? If so, share some pictures with me, guys. Let me know what plants or flowers you chose to pot in your fall 2023 containers. Now, everybody, be healthy, happy, most importantly, be well, each and every single one of you. And happy gardening. And I'll see you again in my new upcoming garden videos. Bye, guys.